and we're live. Hello, welcome Hello. for Utopia's BIPOC Vamp Day weekend. Um, we are going to be playing Dracula Owes You Money, written by me, Dustin Hill. Uh, I have all these wonderful people here to play. I'll introduce them in a second. Just really quick, quick want to remind everyone that this weekend um, we're raising money for SCDAA because September is Sickle Cell Awareness Month and we're raising money for the Sickle Cell Disease Association of America, which is SCDAA. It's the nation's headquarters for sickle cell disease support, advocacy, and the search for a cure. Sickle cell disease, or SCD, is a group of inherited red blood cell disorders common among those whose ancestors came from sub-Saharan Africa, Spanish-speaking regions such as South America, the Caribbean, and Central America, Saudi Arabia, India, and Mediterranean. Those with SCD experience chronic pain and other serious problems such as infection, acute chest syndrome, and stroke. You can help by donating to our fundraiser. Use exclamation charity in chat to get the Tiltify link. Again, my name is Dusty. I use he, they pronouns, and I have everyone introduce themselves. Um, let's go ahead and start with Mitzi, because you're right there. Oh, okay. Hold on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I usually have a spiel, but now my brain's going, woohoo. Okay. Hello. Uh, my name is Mitzi. My pronouns are they, she. I am also known as Pookie Peku on all social media platforms. I also have a TikTok, but I haven't posted anything yet, so don't follow me just yet. <laughs> um, that's P-U-K-E-P-E-K-U. -E -E I am a Filipino, trans, non-binary, variety streamer on Twitch. And um, I play a bunch of TTRPGs, uh, usually on streams. Uh, I also play video games if you're into that. And um, yeah, I do a bunch of other shenanigans. And if everything, uh, every update that I have is usually on my Twitter. So yeah, I also have an itch page. It's itch.io slash Pukipeku. And I just released my first game for the BIPOC Vap Jam. So yeah, yes. uh, if you want, check it out. I also, uh, it still has community copies. And if it runs out, I usually just replenish it. So yeah, uh, yeah. That's it, I think. <laughs> I'm okay. going to pass it along to Chris. Hi, everybody. My name is uh, Chris McClone. I uh, just call me Chris. Um, pronouns he, him. Uh, I am a Caribbean voice actor. I'm Dominican, Cuban, Puerto Rican, all in one. So I'm the party package. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, you can follow me over at on Twitter. It's where I mostly am on B-O underscore Cologne. That's C-U-L-O-N, where I post all my stuff in terms of announcements. And my website is there for video stuff. And I also have started dabbling into TTRP streams. So I just started doing some. So I got a few under my belt. So yeah, that is me. Uh, then why don't we go to Ravon? Hi, um, I'm Revan. I am a, so my main bag of tricks is I am a freelance artist. I am the guy to go to if you want to do TTRPG, sci-fi, fantasy, horror stuff. I also do a whole bunch of streaming over on my Twitch page, which is at The Mythic Bunny, which you can find me anywhere, TikTok, Twitter, I think I made a Tumblr, but I can't remember. We'll see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do a whole bunch of um, TTRPG performances now as well, starting to dabble into it more. So will you see my face a little more often? We'll see. <laughs> um, but that is mainly me. My character that I'm going to be playing today is Avina. Um, Avina, essentially. It's the things, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, they use they, them pronouns. Um, I use he, they pronouns. I almost forgot. Uh, moving forward, though, I'm going to pass it on to Ray. Hello, everybody. Um, I am Ray. I use she, her pronouns. Um, if you want to figure out what I'm up to, just follow me on Twitter at Crystal Ask Me. I'm sure that's somewhere on the screen. Talking with you then is a lot harder, and I normally have a list, so this is making it super duper pronounced. <laughs> but, um, um, yeah, I am. I do TTRPG streams um, occasionally. So, like I said, if you want to figure out when I'm streaming next, just follow me on Twitter. Um, I am playing Mira. They use they them pronouns. Um, they are also a vampire, hence the fangs. Um, that's pretty much me. Great, great, great. Um, 
So very excited. Before we jump in, just want to make that you know for this game, we've gone over lines and bells with each other. We are very aware of them. We're using safety tools like next and no card because even though if you're playing online, want to have a good time, those are very important. Um, Let's see real quick. Did you introduce yes. yourself already? I, at the beginning, yeah, Dusty. Oh, okay. okay. Just had to check yeah. <laughs> memory. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, that's good. Um, but yeah, so we are going to jump in. We are going to be zooming in into a busy city and y'all have our have all been told to meet at this one building where you have gone on an online forum swindles anonymous um where you all have somehow been swindled taken money from taken something from the one the only dracula uh, and you're all coming here are you already here at uh this club called uh the last bite uh, and for some people you're very surprised that there is loud bumping music coming from the store and you're unsure why you come here for a meeting for others such as daniel evergreen this is actually your, your night job daniel why don't you or chris why don't you introduce daniel and what they're doing right now Hello, everybody. My name is Daniel Evergreen. Uh, I am a DJ, DJ Hell Sing, <laughs> play on words. Uh, I work at this club all the time. This is where I put my passion. I'm a freelancer, you know. Uh, if you don't find me in the club and, you know, doing my DJ set, I work at Ross. As you can see, I dress for less. Uh, and yeah, that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm doing my latest set right here. I'm getting really into it. You know, everybody's feeling it. And, you know, I'm I'm really getting it. You know, it's 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 a good night. It's one of my good nights. And as you everyone hears over the DJs like DJ Hell Scene. Um, on the other side of the club, you see someone pouring drinks. And there we see Ray. Uh Ray, or well, Ray's character. Ray, could you introduce your character Nira and what they're doing right now? Um, Nira is failing horribly. Um they are attempt this is their probably their second day on the job and they are just not getting it as a matter of fact the manager's looking at them like how did you get hired right now they are not getting along very well with the customers they are like shrinking away from people they're not wanting to take drink orders and when they do they're just not doing super great right now Okay, and as as we uh, move away from you mixing a drink, maybe kind of nervous by your manager and pouring something to a tumbler, but you actually just drop it and the ice goes everywhere. Oh, yeah. We cut to, let's go to Mitzi. Where is Lee's or Lies? Where are they at right now as they enter the last bite? Um, I think Lies, right now they're Lies, not yet Lee's uh lies uh is just enters the the club the store they're not really sure uh <laughs> they enter and they have like uh it's almost like a camping bag with the size of it but it's really just a what they call a school bag uh it has all of their things so it feels like they're getting scoliosis from the weight of it and they're just wearing like like what I'm wearing right now, because this is what I wore in university. So they're basically <laughs> just a broke ass college student who came, who just came from uh, their work uh, at a fast food restaurant. And they just look disgruntled, wary. And just there's like, if you look into their eyes, they're like, there's like fire starting to burn there from anticipation. And I guess the most noticeable thing about them and it says a lot because people do notice it is how defined their jaw is this is definitely not me wishing i had a more defined jaw but <laughs> uh yeah that's uh it's like going like this well as we see you walk into this club immediately wincing at all the loud music because again, you just came from your job. You weren't expecting 
to hear even louder stuff over the intercom. We cut to Ravon's character. Uh, Ravon, where is Avia as they are either outside or entering this club, the last bite? So, uh, Avia is, has 100% been waiting. They were here the moment the club started. They found a little <laughs> corner in the club, denied any drinks, and has just been like hastily in their book, just reading intently anything to avoid eye contact. They've just been, it's fine, it's okay, it's okay, okay. They look up the moment they see a disgruntled individual show up and they have a moment of panic because maybe, maybe possibly that is the person that they're looking for. And on instinct, they reach down and they are they are a five foot um, plump individual wearing literally this this whole getup of um, it's very clear that this they love the occult to some degree. And on instinct, they reach down, start patting themselves down, trying to get like their attention. And by accident, their shirt shirt just like starts lighting up, and they're like, "Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! How do I turn this off? Oh no!" So that's where they're left, just fumbling with their sweater, trying to turn it off. Like, oh, 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 oh. okay. <laughs> um, Avia, as you are fumbling, uh, a different individual actually comes down to where you're sitting and sits next to you, hands you a glass of water as they have their own and just smiles and looks at you and is like, you must be Avia, right? Um, yes, that, that, that's me. Ah, great. And then they pull out a phone and they type a couple things and you get um a buzzler like a text message and so does like uh lies daniel and nira as you all get the message meet at this table blah 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 in this area um and they're going to introduce themselves as hello i'm i'm catherine i'm the one that reached out to y'all um, hopefully the other people are here soon. Um, I understand that you as well have had something taken by a certain annoying someone. I, I would say annoying is um, an understatement. Uh, so the others are here? Sorry, one more time, I didn't hear that. So, it's, uh, so the others are, are, are here? I would hope so. Um, and as I say that, um, let's see, Daniel, what, what are you doing once you get this uh, message? I'm gonna, all right, guys, I'm going to have to finish my set here. All right. I hope you have a wonderful night. Make sure that you tip your waitresses, your bartenders. Make sure that you say hi or, you know, hello. Thank you to your loved ones. All right. I will leave some music here for you guys. You're going to have a great night. Don't worry about it. And again, if you need me, I have my cards up here. And also, I work at the Ross at 10 in the morning. So if you need me, I'm there. <laughs> um, as... as... Uh, that goes over to intercom. Catherine looks. Well, there's one of them. Um, uh, where is? Uh, oh, actually, Nira. What? Where? What are you doing once you get this alert? As soon as I get the alert, I like set. I'm sure I got like a tumbler in one hand and my phone in the mm -hmm. other. Set this tumbler on the counter in front of somebody who was waiting on a drink from me <laughs> and say, here, <laughs> here, take that. I'm going, I'm going to uh, the, the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Just, and then I'll just like walk away from behind the bar looking at my phone. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry, lies, lies? Lies for now. Lies, lies for now. Let me write that phonetically. What, what do they do? Um, is it all right if like Lee's uh, sees Nira come from the bar, yeah, and then walk fun. away? Okay, Lee's is going to like hike, like uh, hike up their um their backpack, and then approaches uh Nira really quickly and says, "Um, excuse <laughs> me, 
excuse me, do you have uh, do you have any idea where this table is? Um, it's my second day. Maybe it's over, and then I'll like start turning in a circle with my finger up and looking at my phone, and then I guess I'll maybe finally spot it. You you may see someone's light up shirt going off as well in that corner. <laughs> I think it's over there, but I hope it's not over there. Is it still on? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um again, as Avia is fumbling, I would say like within seconds of each other, you all approach this table and you see this person fumbling with their light up shirt. And a mid 20 something in just all dark clothes, like slowly drinking a glass of what you could probably assume to be iced water because it's just clear. Oh, you, uh, it does look like everyone is here. Yeah, we're here. Everyone's Please. accounted for. Okay. Right. Very good. Okay. I, I'm sorry. Um, who, who are you again? Please, please take a seat. Uh, I I'm the one that reached out to y'all. My name is Catherine. Uh, you know about getting something back from a certain someone. Yeah, You're talking down. about Dracula. Luckily, uh, over the DJ, Despacito is playing loud enough where only people at this table could hear. Um, Catherine gonna, just, yes. I want to sit can, down and can, mimic Catherine's posture, in, like exactly. Can Lee quickly say, oh my God, this music's so loud. Who chose this playlist? It's horrible. I'm going to take it. Not as an insult, but you know, I have gone through a various algorithms to see what the kids will call hip and uh, Despacito for some reason. Number one, I'm not a fan of the song, I don't like it, but you know what? They do the game, you know, everybody's having a nice time, so you know, I let them have it. You know, I let you know, it, I am there to service them. So, um. Dracula. Oh, when can we go? Yeah. Um, the plan is as soon as possible, but just make sure we're all talking about the same person, yes. Um, and with that, I actually want to bring up to some mechanics because for Dracula owes you money, there's a thing where you build your Dracula. Um, mm -hmm. We already have, I already made a layer, which is something that we'll get into in a little bit. Okay. But the uh, options, for this, we could either roll with them, depends on y'all, um, or we could um, choose between these choices, which we have an attitude, what their night job is, and we should give Dracula a first name and pronouns. But because, you know, it's usually La Dracula, but mm -hmm. is there a different name for Dracula here? Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a thing real quick. Just just oh, no. to check. <laughs> just to check. I think I'll think you'll like this one, Dusty. How about Dian? Dien Dracula? Dien, yes, it's short for Dientes. How's that? How's that for everyone else? Yes, absolutely. Dien, you said? Uh, <laughs> Dien, it's short for Dientes. Dientes Dracula. <laughs> Wonderful. Dientes Dracula. Um, pronouns? Sounds like a he him. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking he him. <laughs> all right. He him. And would you all like to maybe roll on this table? It's just 2d6, or do you want to choose between their attitude being either confident, neurotic, sly, angry, shy, or bored? 
um, are their night job being either a professor, an EDMTJ, a radio host, a paranormal investigator, a video game streamer, or a magician? Oh, God. I want that to happen, possibly be uh, confident. Confident, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah. for some reason, I have, I have negative feelings when I heard radio host. I don't know why. <laughs> yes. He has a podcast. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, that's so good though. A confident radio host right. who has their podcast at the uh, that goes over this like public access channel let's say <laughs> mm -hmm. so their, <laughs> yeah their podcast is called um life sucks of course <laughs> um and then we cut back uh in real time and then Catherine's like i mean yes we're talking about the and dracula right that old podcast hosts and podcast is such a generous word for what he does <laughs> yeah right Ugh, yeah. yes unfortunately yes i actually do enjoy his podcast i feel he hits on a lot of topics that you know i can connect with as a regular day person you know so i don't think i'm the only one here that questioning your integrity as a person but you know that's fine anyway when can we go storm down dracula because i need my pants back you need your what my pants you heard me correctly he stole my amazing collection of pants he didn't take anything else just the pants is that like a cool name for something like is it no. like you know like no, weed like, or you know, like something of a valuable nature. No, nope, my pants. pants. My pants are valuable. How dare you? <laughs> That's yeah. not to, be to, to be fair, in this economy, pants are very expensive, especially if they're jeans. Exactly. Thank you for understanding. That is true. I know that they give free t-shirts all the time. My problem, they never give out free pants. Like they never I get more free pants than t-shirts. The okay. ratio is just not working for me. You know what I mean? Okay. You've gained a couple of points. Maybe you maybe your integrity isn't so bad. Maybe you're not that bad. But yeah, my pants. Okay. Can I ask how many pants exactly? That is a good question. That is a very good question. Because I only have so much room in the back of my van. Well, there were, I mean, there weren't any left in my apartment. So. Um... That's a lot of pants. Well, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. You could have had like three pants. Multiply that by 10. No, no, she's <laughs> multiplying by 10. No, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> hold on, hold on. It might be a negative. It might be <laughs> multiplying with a negative. That's true. Is she, are you multiplying by negative? I, I'm no, too gay for math. Are... Can we go? There... <laughs> Catherine is just, at first, just like sitting there with her cup in her hand, just like, okay, no. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to get your pants. I think. The, the meeting for all of this was because everything, something was taken from us by this night host. So yes. um, I found out that this, this swindler is at, they, they, they took over this old rundown like pizza joint. Have you all heard of No Mistakes Only Pizza? <gasps> That's what Lee says. I think, yeah, wasn't that the piece of joint that rivaled Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, and it didn't do so well. For some reason, no one liked Frederick, the bat bassist. Um, but it's damn shame. Damn shame. There, there are people, what a see, the only thing is like, ne never any garlic anywhere. No garlic whatsoever. 
Maybe that's why Jacko took it, probably. Yeah, um, what a waste. Great pizza. The guy's a freeloader. You know, I, I used to idolize him, and you know, it's just a damn shame. All this, you know, it changes everything about I, the way I view the guy, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they, uh, again, they're at this one at the edge of town. It's been abandoned, well, like, so we thought, for who knows how long. So it looks like we have a van here. Yes, uh, looking at a van. I have a functioning van. Great. Uh, if you're all ready, we should go post haste. And then uh, can Lee's suddenly like changes like the way they speak and out of character, this is now lies, no longer Lee's, this is now lies. And Lies says, before we go, may I say something really quick? Oh my God. <laughs> what? Y- yes. Yeah. yeah. Speak. Yeah. yeah. Are we a good team? We are killing Dracula. Let us take this bitch. Are you are you doing a haiku? Is that a haiku? That was a haiku. Huh. Ah, okay. Oh well, uh that's my first well one. Done. I have two more left. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I... Very arti- I like it. I like it. it felt happy. emotions, yes. Yeah. Yes. Maybe you could story. take over the Dracula's job after this. Let's see. Um, Maybe we're I am no team. capitalist freeloader. How dare you insinuate such things? I don't think we have to bash capitalism like that, but okay, we can do that. You know, that's fine. You know, it's just the system. We don't have to, you know, we can fix it. Uh, and you've lost the points she gained. All the points. <laughs> I was very much expecting that. I got a business model. Capitalism, it helps out with that. You know, I don't like it sometimes, but other times it helps out. You know, it's a business. You got to give and take in this, you know. Freelancer, you know, every day you don't know where that paycheck is coming from, you know. I think you're in the negative now. <laughs> negatives. Let's go to the van. The van? Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the van. Yeah. As... <laughs> As we all head to the van, um, Avia, because this is your van, what does it look like? So the van is unfortunately one of the few vans that um, they managed to procure in the early days during college. It is one of those remnants, those beautiful, beautiful remnants of the rock and roll age where several people painted beautiful mosaics of like, uh, like people on like winged beasts this one in particular is a tiger with wings and like three people on this elongated it is not a well done piece and you can tell that Avila has like tried to put like pictures over top of it or painted it so it is a mishap of like different pictures and colors a little like it's seen wear and tear there's rust at the edges and um, as they, you know, cuddle on up to it, they pull the side door open and several books tumble out from the side. And with the little guest, like, oh, oh, my books, hold on. Uh, they grab the books that have fallen out and sort of like shove them under the seats. Oh, my books, okay. Everybody in, be careful. There are some snacks in the back of the seats if you are hungry and some reading material. Please don't leave crumbs within the pages. It's very nice. It's real cool. You're like the Lamborghini guy, you know? He's like, I got knowledge. And he's in this garage with his car. And you know, he's got books and stuff with his, like, awesome car. Well, what's a Lamborghini? You know, you ever see that guy on, like, the YouTube that was like, you know, hey, what's up? It's, I'm in my garage with my Lamborghini. You know, that guy, he's got glasses and whatnot. Kind of spins around. Wait, how many more negative points can I give this man? <laughs> It's all right. You know what? You know what? I'll take the negative. You know, it's all me. I got to improve myself. You know, I'm always out here trying to change. So, yeah, you know what? Yeah, take the negative. I'm going to pause it. Okay, everybody in the van. Negative (laughs) plus a negative is a positive. I'm climbing in and ignoring him and (laughs) moving slowly, like navigating around the piles of books. And making sure to set like at the edge of a, at the edge of the seat, like at the very edge of the seat. And surprisingly enough, the 
books are like, despite them being in piles, they're actually sectioned off by genre. So you've got fiction, you've got nonfiction, you've got occult, more occult. Why is there another pile of occult? <laughs> Music, maybe some autobiographies. And they saddle up into the van and they're like, okay, everybody got their seatbelts in, everybody set. Oh, quick the, question to Elvia. Books, quick question to Elvia. At the top of your head, what would be the nonfiction book that we see? The 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 no, top one um, would have to be nonfiction. It's a uh, it's a book about cats and how to treat cat ailments. <laughs> And you'll see various um, little bookmarks of like cat faces poking out from between the chapters as well. Upon seeing that, Lies turns to Lise again and then just says, oh my god, I have a biology assignment to do. Oh god. Can I can I uh, work on it while we're in the van? I'm so sorry. Do you have Wi-Fi? Uh -huh. Oh, never mind. I'll just use my mobile hotspot. Oh my god, okay, the data okay. charges of this one. And then just go take a seat at the backmost um um seat, backmost seat, and then start pulling out their laptop from their bag. Uh, Setting my um, and you're just sitting in the back. As Avia, you start up the car. Catherine is just comfortably sitting, reading I, Dracula, uh, that they found amongst a stack of books. Uh, and as you're on the way, you know that uh, No Mistakes, Only Pizza is probably like a 40 minute drive. So there is, you know, um, who is who is Shotgun again? Was it Nira? Who's what? Shotgun, like passenger side. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm sitting behind the driver's side. I'm eating, sitting behind the driver. Okay. Would it be? Oh no, it is not. Catherine sitting in the front seat. Of of Catherine sitting shotgun, and they're reading this, and then they turn on the radio, and lo and behold, as soon as you turn it on, it just so happens to be on uh, uh, FM six sixty six point six as. <laughs> you hear this smooth voice and welcome again listeners to life sucks podcast by yours truly uh today i want to talk about debts um you know sometimes you owe people something you don't always have to give it back take it from me you could go a long time uh racking stuff up, but if you just decide to, I don't know, poof away, you don't know anyone anything. And Catherine's just like, ugh, such a prick. Oh, I'll poof him away. I'll poof him away real good. Um, this, this, the audacity of this man. I know, like, I'm a pretty chill guy, and I gotta say, he's really making me really angry, and I'm trying to stay calm, but I feel like I want to punch a hole through your van. I will not do it, but that is the feeling I'm feeling right now. As long as you don't actually punch it. I'm sure there's a <laughs> self-care book somewhere in the non-fiction file. Oh, that's a good Something. idea. I should punch the self-help care book. That would probably help. No! Yeah. Don't punch my books! <laughs> <laughs> um... As this is happening, Catherine goes to change the radio station. And but every station to change it to, you still hear their voice. And Catherine's just like, that's weird. And keeps going and keeps going. And they even change the AM and you still hear uh uh Dia and Dracula just going on and on about how they've been able to get away with so much stuff. And then finally they just say, like there's a pause as you turn that Catherine just turns the radio off. And this is like, that was really weird. And after a few seconds, it comes back on if it's on the cord. And you just hear. Now, if anyone was trying to get their stuff back, just know it's not going to be easy. 
And the radio turns off again. He's on to us. I don't want to be that powerful. Son I mean, of a gun! It's lies now, and lies is just, you should burn! You're on the AM station! Do you know what that means? Yeah, You're it's for like old people! AM. Burn! Um, Catherine is just going to look at all of you and just... So, do, do y'all have any ideas of how we're going to get to him? Lee's just rattles their bag and kind of shows everyone. Other than the laptop case, like they open up the main zipper and it's just full of steaks and holy water. Huh. Yes. We're, I'm gonna like Damn. I'm like pressing my entire body up against the driver's seat now. I'm like <laughs> trying to get away from the holy water and the steaks. Uh, uh. That's a lot. Conveniently, there's a church next to the restaurant I work in. I'm actually going to climb into the front seat now. <laughs> On top of Catherine? Oh, yes. I'm going to climb into the front seat now. Yeah, just uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, 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 hello? Or at least I'm attempting oh, to climb into the front seat now. I just, you, oh, okay, um, if you want oh, to switch seats, seat. you could just ask. <laughs> please, yeah, tr just, just please, can you... Yeah, just. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, and <laughs> Avia, you have to drive very carefully as <laughs> this. There is some um, rearranging of seats. <laughs> um, and after a bit, there is a bit more silence. No more uh, radio DJs popping up uninvited. And there you are. You park in front of this old, old pizza joint at the edge of a mall. Um, you see the signs darken, um, some of the letters.
<laughs> That's about like the only only like bossa nova or like ele- elevator music. But yeah. <laughs> all right and with the elevator music coming out of the van suddenly stopping um <laughs> catherine just i mean i i i think we got this right yeah we got this cool um and Catherine is going to lead the way to this just like haunted visage of a pizza joint. And they go to the front doors. And you know what? The front doors aren't even locked. Like Catherine walks up and just pushes and they just actually both open right away. And ahead of you is darkness. You can't see no more than six feet from the entrance where the moonlight is shining through. And Catherine just um, like reaches like through their belt and pulls out a flash. I was like, y'all have flashlights, right? In my hand. I mean, it's like in a brush back. <laughs> I, have glow, I have glow sticks because of my rage that I was doing earlier. So does that count? As long as you could see, sure. Have my phone. Just snaps him, puts her. <laughs> I have my flashlight on my phone. Uh, that works, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I can do that and then I'll turn my flashlight on my phone too. Um, uh, Avia comes back and they brought, like, not only have they brought, like, this big, giant, chalky, like, old fashioned flash light. So the current like is a little heavy to them. They've also got like a I found a book on sword fighting in case he decides to do less. <laughs> we are prepared. Tucks it under their arm. All right, let's go. Oh wait, I light up. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> and I lead the way. I uh, I like your style. And you, you know what, Avia? As you turn on that shirt and it starts lighting, you start seeing the kind of like the lobby area. And from there you see tables and knockdown stands and like velvet ropes covering the area. Um, you see the, the, the cashier register where behind them used to be all the prices and now only a few things remain. And um, you kind of look around and you see there is still like husks and old arcade games just lining the area. And as you kind of walk in, there's just, just silence, the sound of your footsteps and the sound of your breathing. And then, um, let's see, Daniel, as you turned around, um, suddenly way too close, as if it wasn't there a second ago, you are met face to face with like this half metal, half furred face. And with a fright, you take a step back and realize that the animatronic for Frederick the Bat Base is his neck right next to you. Ah! Oh my God. Oh, I, that, that's scary. Anybody else see this, this thing? I can see why they call this place down. This thing is scary. That that I where that where the hell did that come from? I didn't see that. It just popped up. It's like there. And it felt kind of gross. Like look at it. Half of half of the fur and stuff is like, wow. Who left this here? Honestly, that looks very relatable. I don't know if that makes sense. I think you need to see somebody if that's relatable. I know. I just don't. I'm just broke. So. I understand. I understand. Ka- Catherine kind of like walks up slowly with their flashlight and <clears throat> kind of does a slight bonk on the head with the flashlight and nothing happens. 
there's the sound of the the metal on metal from their flashlight um and then kevin's like well i mean it's a broken animatronic it's probably fine um we need to keep going like i don't see anything maybe they're in the back somewhere and as y'all keep moving forward um avia you're you kind of struggling with this flashlight and then you put it down and then you look behind you and the animatronic's gone uh uh guys uh there's an issue there is an issue with the animatronic the, 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 oh where did it go oh it's gone. Uh, hell no mm -mm. It's, it's gone that's not cool. Should we like just form a circle back to back and Should then we go back to the parking lot? I feel like that is a better area than the darkness that's in here. No, we've got to get our stuff back. You also didn't you say that Dracula called us a what now? A cojones? Well, no, it's are a... you gonna take that? That's true. That's true. Fine, yes. He has the cojones. He's not taking, I mean, he is. So it's a lot of yeah, yes, yes, exactly. Perfect. Catherine's just maybe if we could get this power back on. I don't know if if we could see everything, that'd probably be better, right? Right? Yes. That's how they do it in Call of Duty. <laughs> a Call of what? Call of who? Call of Duty is a game, zombies mode. You know, they gotta turn on the power and then. Are are you are you are you sure that's not Call of Cthulhu? I don't know what that is. Oh, gotcha. I don't know. Is that is that a version of Call of Duty? Is that like one of the knockoffs of Call of Duty? Catherine, I just, I just heard duty and thought it was like poop. So I thought you were calling I for also poop. Thought it was poop. Do you need to go? To no, the there is there is a, a version of the game that is poop. Yes, and and the series has gotten to poop. Yes, but there, it is not poop itself. No. Okay, I'm lost and disgusted. I don't know what's going on. Why? Do you mm. want your stuff back or not? Please. I do. I do. Uh, it's a matter of principle to me. That's you know, at the end of the day, he owes me thirty dollars. I'm gonna get my thirty dollars back. $30. Thirty. Okay, you're gonna judge hey. me for thirty dollars, but meanwhile she got her pants taken. Like, like we didn't we didn't really bat an eye at that. Thirty dollars is also essential to a freelancer. Okay, I have barely any money. C can confirm. Yes, thirty dollars is a lot. Thirty dollars. Fair. Okay. Normally, chicken nuggets I could buy with that a lot. <gasps> Chicken nuggets are delicious. You're right. No, we have to get these thirty dollars back. Catherine looks at the group of y'all, and I hope I get out of this alive. Um, okay, they're gonna turn around, just like um, I think the maintenance is behind the prize wall. Why don't we start going that way? Um, and they're gonna start leading the way to the employees only sign that's behind the register next to like the thing that has all like the shitty tops and the rubber hands that are now kind of just hardened with like age and decay and just, um, okay. Uh, someone just, just watch all of your backs. Uh, you know, apparently this is where, you know, uh, Dion's supposed to be staying, but um, I guess maybe we have to watch out for animatronics now. Great, cool, awesome. Um, and Still they're going to the <laughs> slowly going to open the door. And as soon as they touch this door, it just kind of falls forward, like puffing up a huge cloud of dust. Um, and as the dust settles and Catherine um raises their flashlight uh on the other side of this room next to this power panel you see another animatronic it's not frederick the bat it is 
Gary the banjo possum, um, just again, kind of half metal, half fur, uh, holding this like just broken banjo in their like robotic hand. And just it's quiet, there's silence, there's nothing there. And Catherine just like, well, there's the power. Um, who wants to turn it on? Does anybody have a degree yeah. on power? Ah. What are you guys doing Daniel, with it? It looks like you volunteered. Uh, to be fair, you work with a lot of electronics, Daniel, so you might as well do the thing. Believe it or not, not my area of expertise, but I can give it a shot. Maybe it might work. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what? Um, Danny, why don't you go up and try to get to the power? And why don't we make our first roll? Um, so for Trek Lose Money, you have two stats, Blood and Tears. Uh, I could say maybe try rolling blood since you could either try to be physically manipulating this electronics or you, you could roll tears if you could come up with something where I don't know. Can I try to, because I know that if you have, you can roll two of your scale since I am a, a DJ and kind of know a bit of electronics, can I use that expertise and try to roll tears? Sure, sure. Maybe you're instead of trying to like physically like fashion turn it on, you're like trying to be more intricately with the uh, the the power strings. And you know, like okay, when my my deck goes broken, I remember to do this. So yeah, uh, go ahead and roll two dice. Take the better option. You have to roll under your uh, tier stat. Should be three. I, uh, I got a three. Okay, um, so three, it does meet. So unfortunately, you don't pass. So move one of your stats from tears to blood. Okay. Um, and you walk over there and as you're trying to like mess with the power, you are struggling for a bit. And Catherine's just like looking at you, like, you got this, right? Um, I got this. I got it. I work on a DJ. Set. I mean, it can't be that different between, you know, a small little thing I carry with me and a complicated system of, you know, electronics and whatnot in a power grid. It should be the same thing. Yeah. yeah. And I would say, because usually when you fail, I, as the DM gets introduced, a complication, um, you get this. And you know what? You wrap up two wires together and then you get a third one and connect it and a couple things happen all at the same time one the power turns on two you are shocked um by these wires connecting and with that you're actually shocked enough where you get blown back a couple feet uh, -oh. uh but the power is still on. <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah as soon as you said like i got this yeah after the whole spiel that happens, you get blown back onto your back. And now that this room is open, you see that's the maintenance room. And now at the entrance to the door, which mind you, the door is gone, but a couple feet away from the doorway on the other side, you see the animatronic again for Frederick, the bad basis. And everything turns on and you can see clearly, you can see that there is, um, the opossum is actually now gone from this room. And Catherine is just, okay. Um, I don't like any of this at all. Well, me neither. I'm feeling that. I too feel that. <laughs> Are you all right? I think I will be. I think I'm toasted a part of my brain. Did you need that part? <laughs> oh, at the very least, you're still talking. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. And then uh, Lee's rough, rummages into the bed and gets like a bottle of holy water and uh, uh, kind of 
shoves the the opening to Daniel's mouth. I heard holy water has healing powers. Drink up. Yeah, yeah it works in video games. We try. <laughs> just, just, I think I feel better. Yeah, yeah, I think it's working. Yeah. As long as you don't smell toast, you should be fine. I think you're right. Yeah, I think I'm feeling a whole lot better. I feel very invigorated. That's good. Wait, what does toast have to do with it? It's tasty. I read that somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. Is, so, if you smell toast, it's smell, bad? Yeah. I like toast. If you smell toast, it's bad. Huh. You what might be losing a lot. Or... Or what if you... What it? if he smells like toast? Because he does smell like burnt toast now. If he smells I, like toast, that's different. I had smell. toast. I did have toast in the morning. Does that count in terms of smell? Like that could just be like I, after. Let me just. Uh, <laughs> no, I think you're good. Okay, I think good. You're good I right now. Thanks, Doc. Yeah. Um, I got you. Af after this conversation is happening. Now that all the electronics are on, the speakers are working, and over at Intercom, you all hear another familiar voice and just, you know, I tried to warn all of you, but here you are, you know, I'm just out here trying to have a good time, and now you have to come in and start messing. Fine, 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 fine be it. But just the, the warning was mostly for y'all because I'm not the only one inhabiting this haunted visage of this place. Um, you know, just don't bat an eye at those animatronics. They're probably here to help you, probably. And with that, they, the, they turn on this kind of like smooth jazz music going over the intercoms that none of you know how to turn on or off. You know, it's actually not that bad. I love Kenny G. I, all right. Where does the animatronics go? Uh, the opossum is gone. There is still the bat just like yeah, a couple feet in front of the door. Uh, but now like the lights are on, so if you were to exit, you could see much better in this area. I, I'm going to go push over the animatronic. <laughs> um, wait, 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 what are you doing? Uh, Who do you? Yeah, I'm do gonna I, go push over the animatronic. Yeah, I'm gonna do, do it. I, oh. Okay, you know what? I do want you to roll for this. Um, I would say definitely this would be maybe rolling blood because you're you're <laughs> physically manipulating something. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put a push over the animatronic. I rolled a four. <laughs> as well, as you step out of this room and you you approach us. Uh, Frederick the Baptist, who again, half fur, half metal, a smell of rotten decay and dust coming from it and like rust from its metal parts. And it's just staring at you, one robotic eye, one plush dark eye of like, you know, a friendly fruit bat. Um, as you get closer and closer, you feel a lump in your throat almost as you, for some reason, you're just getting nervous around this. But you put your hand on it and are ready to push. But as you push, a metal hand grabs yours. Oh, no. <laughs> um, it grabs yours and you push it enough to it fall over. But it, as it falls, its robotic hand comes up, the one that's not holding the broken base, and throws you across the room. I thought he was lying. And just... Catherine's just, I hate that so much. Holy shit, are you okay? As they run towards you. Mind you, the, the animatronic is now just on the ground, hand up in the air. I thought it was lying. 
I mean, I know they were moving, but I didn't think that they were going to be like that. Uh, what, what does everyone else do? Um, what if, what if we appeal to their nature? That's what I was thinking. But what if they're like yes. Terminator? Like Convince the Terminator. them. Convince them that we're doing this for the greater good. Because I think they're also swindled. They got scammed into doing this. Did you want to go give that pep talk? You can go give that pep talk because I'm not really, I again, part of my brain is fried right now. I think the part of communication with others is fried. So I think that might be something you may want to look into. If that's something you think you could do. This is their place. So maybe, maybe they want him out like we want. We, maybe they want him out too. Yeah, like the Ewoks. What's the Ewoks? What rock have you been living under in, bro? I'm and sorry. You the vampire. And I'm sorry. You must be an older millennial. We're just a bit on the younger Zoomer level, so we don't really know what you're talking about. I'm not that old. I'm go. <laughs> A one from this, Catherine. Catherine is helping uh, Nira up, and uh, amongst all this talk, the animatronic is on the back between all of you. Um, and Catherine's just okay. Okay, no, we got this. We're fine. Um, and they're gonna kind of like take a couple steps away uh, to, like, there's like. Now you could see there's like one of those play palaces nearby and there's like an open area that is just like um like mat and then there is just this way bigger than it needs to be giant ball pit with all these multicolored like you know plastic balls in there and just Catherine like takes a few steps back goes over there to breathe and just like okay but we need to find some kind of plan what if we, and before you can finish the sentence, there is an explosion from the ball pit as a different animatronic, this one of a raccoon, um, pops out, grabs Catherine, and goes back into this ball pit. And with that, why don't we take a break? We'll be back oh in maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Thank you for that. <laughs> So we're gonna, we're gonna take a break uh, and we'll be back in a couple like 10 minutes as we get water and and with there we'll try to figure out what the hell Dracula is doing and what are these animatronics uh,
Hello, and welcome back to Dracula Owes You Money. Um, we are joining our crew just as the person that brought them all together just got swallowed by a ball pit by an animatronic raccoon. Um, uh, as this happens, the explosion of the ball pit settles. And again, we just have the four of you and this uh, Frederick the Bat Base is animatronic down on the ground. What do y'all do? Um, Avia immediately like rushes towards the raccoon. No, not the raccoon. The the, poss the possum on the floor goes, please bring the could you could you possibly bring her back? I don't like she's her leader. She's her pat 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 pat. She's her leader. <laughs> the 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 one on the ground actually is the bat. Um, or the bat, yes. Yeah, the possum is oh, the one that okay. disappeared. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and the and as you hit it, your once one hand making like kind of stepping metal, the other one doesn't make sound because you're stepping fur. Um, and it's nothing's happening. It's just uh, staring up in the sky. One hand still in the air from when they threw Nira. Read them my haiku. That might work. They might, you know, they might like connect it. They connect to their souls or whatever if they have one. Read a haiku, please. Um, um, um. And then there's like, like, like a transformation of Lisa's aura, and they turn into lies. And they're like, a haiku. Well, I got you. And then they sweep their arm over the thing can't really see the animatronics but who cares and then they say <laughs> my fellow undead fight this oppressive system down with dracula yes, um yes. and there is mostly silence besides the smooth jazz playing over the intercom of, again, no mistakes, only pizza. Um, and there's, at first, nothing. But then the smooth jazz stops. Um, and you hear the also familiar voice of um, the and Dracula and just, I, you know, that just, why? I, and, and it was good poetry, but why? I, the, the animatronics are, well, maybe they're a little haunted. I, I'm, I'm not controlling them, I'll be honest. I don't know what's going on there, but I mean, what are you, what's the, I, I, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, I hope you all stay alive long enough. This is actually fun to watch. And there is a cut and more smooth jazz. And then as the cut happens, light starts happening from the arcade as some of the games start turning back on. And you hear like the dinging of like some stuff in the background and the hum of the air hockey table come to life. And um, at, among all this, um, I believe maybe a via may have stood up. You look down and you see Frederick about bases. It's now gone. Oh, I don't know. I didn't even. I didn't even. All right. What do we do? Either we fight or we run. I've got a book. That's it. What am I fighting with a book? Well, we. We don't have any issue with the animatronics. And I'm like looking at the animatronic or looking around for an animatronic. We don't we don't have any issues with you. We just want to get to Dracula. Is there like a That is true. Is there like a back way we can go? Can you lead us to him? Um let's see. I with all the lights on, if like if you look around, you could see that there's like the big area with all the arcade games. You can't actually see everything through it as some of the the arcade cabinets are obscuring your view of some of the other stuff back there. 
and it actually goes longer than you think. But um, if you look around, you see there there are more doors. There's a door to the side where there's like the, um, it's like the fancier rooms that you'd find at one of these places where you could reserve like a huge table. You know, if you go through that way, you'll see a bunch more people. And there is the door to the kitchen, which um, you see there's actually lights on in there now through the window, but you can't quite see what's inside um, besides, you know, just a white room. And there is just like one of those uh, push doors. But that's really all you could see there. There's just the music going around you, just, you know, saxophones and flutes. Um, but no one responding to you, no animatronics in sight. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is there a foosball table anywhere in this place? A foosball table? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there'd be a foosball table. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm going to go to it and just yank out one of the bars and just use it as a makeshift weapon. <laughs> You know what? Sure. Yeah, you go through it and you see that this one is like um, it it it's mostly fallen away. In fact, some of the bars are already gone, some of the broken, but you're able to with a good tug just pull one out. The little um little soccer players like just like fall into the table itself. And now you have this like four foot long metal pole. We're going to give you guys one more chance because we're really cool people, all right? So tell us what Dracula is, and we will go about our merry way. You can make your own robot empire like Terminator. We're not going to stop you. Just, where is that son of a gun that took our, well, money, pads, uh, other items of value to us? Again, there's... Well, at first, there's silence. And as you're looking around, you do, you hear and such see that push door just not open all the way, but like it definitely moves. You see it get pushed out and then go back in and just swinging back and forth until it closes again fully because, you know, it's just a push door. Probably is going to go towards it. Like they are marching now, like, oh, you go get back here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but what should we do about Catherine? Catherine, are you still alive? You 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 see a rustling from the ball pit, but you don't oh, hear get no. an answer. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and get a like <laughs> jump dive in. And try to pull her out. Uh, do you still have that pole in your hand? Yes, I'm just okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have you jump in, and please, why don't you roll blood? Because as you jump in, instead of being met with maybe the body of a person, you you come on top of a a metal animatronic of this raccoon just the fur on its face, but the rest of its body is all metal as it tries to attack you. Oh, oh wait, no, I succeed. Yay! Nice. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, plus four. All right, cool. Yeah, so it's, it's one blow. Okay, so now move one from blood to tears, and you do succeed. So tell me what you do as you jump in, and instead of meeting Catherine, you are met with this raccoonish animatronic and you're even like lifted out of the ball pit and everyone could see that it has its arm on uh daniel's shoulder but daniel what do you do to get out of this uh at first we kind of like almost it looks like something out of star trek like beginning when he's fighting the lizard so it's kind of just like a slow motion ah, ah, and he kind of throws him out the ball pit and goes let's go you son of a bitch and he kind of gets this <laughs> Oh my god. You know, as yeah, I think as you do that, you grab your, your newfound weapon and you just start whacking at this thing. And as you do, it's falling back into the ball pit. So you just see Daniel with his four foot pole whacking into it, plastic balls flying everywhere. Um until finally you whack enough where you could see that the 
raccoon face is now broken away and there's like a glow of electronics in one of the eyes but as you break into like the motherboard sure motherboards in its head um you you hear a slight hum as it seems to turn off but no sign of Catherine anywhere oh no is there like kind of looking through is there like a compartment or something under this that i can feel or she's just gone yeah so now that the animatronic's gone off i want to like start like digging around in the ball pit do i feel anything sure sure we'll get to that i'm gonna go to a via first because you were marching okay. towards the kitchen oh yes um, as we're towards the kitchen i say that maybe the door opens as soon as you start hearing this commotion but what you see when you you go through the store um it just seems to be like um, a banded lost kitchen. It, it seems to be like almost abandoned as if it was abandoned quickly. You see plates on the ground. You see some like culture everywhere, some knives in like the, the knife holder or, you know, knife blocks, um, pizza pans. You smell instantly like this rotting smell of rotten pizza sauce and tomatoes as you see multiple cans on the ground kind of just popped open from botulism and like just a natural heat busting open these cans. But in this room, amongst all this, you're immediately drawn to the center where on top of one of the stoves, which is those like three feet off, like three foot tall, um, the apostle animatronic is just standing on top of it with its broken banjo in hand, but it's not moving. All right, not what I expected. I expected Catherine. I'll, this will have to, have to do. Um, Avia's going to clamber onto the table with them. What do you want? Do you want to dance off? Do you want me to sing? Do you want me to, I'll start singing. Would you, hello? Is anybody in there? Could you roll me tears, please? Oh, absolutely. I got a three. Okay. Okay. Um, so a three, I'm going to say it meets. So why don't you go ahead and move one from tears to blood. And as you're kind of standing there talking to this uh, animatronic possum, um, uh, Pilroy the possum, um, uh, and you see... The eyes are not moving, nothing's moving, but then you're startled by a familiar voice, not over the intercom, but in person. You're just like, Avia, why are you talking to this animatronic? I'm talking to them because I don't want to talk to you. I want my book back, but guess what? You burnt it. So I would like to burn you alive. Where are you? Oh, they're in the room with you. They, they actually, you, you turn around and you see them um, leaning against one of the counters uh, in their hand, holding one of the, the butcher knives, just trolling it between their fingers. Um, and just, oh, that old thing. Look, I told you. Interview with a vampire wasn't as interesting. They didn't talk to me. It's not as interesting because they don't swindle each other. Huh, huh, huh. I need a moment. You better give me a moment. Huh. They clamber down and like, I'm a calm. I know where I am. There is no burning. What are you doing? What? What are you? Uh, and as as you see Dracula in person for the first time in probably a long time, they're wearing um, a simple but a uh, very well kept suit, all black, of course, black tie, black shirt, black belt. Um, their hair is. Um, very, very short, almost a buzz cut, but not quite, uh, you know, against their dark skin, their eyes, 
um, behind uh, dark tinted glasses, even though they're inside, they're still going to be wearing them. And they just approach you calmly, the knife's on their hands, but doesn't seem to be doing anything. You just, well, Javier, I'm just, I don't know. I wanted maybe to make you an offer. Something that you can let the rest of your friends get out of here, leave me be. In return, I give you something back. What exactly do you plan on offering me to replace the literary bowl and art? Uh, as they get closer, they take their glasses off and look at you and just, you know, Someone who's been around as long as I. I have plenty of books that people thought were lost to time. Maybe something good for your collection, though. There is a moment where the like seems to genuinely be considering this, and they're like flicking their eyes are flicking back from Dracula to the door, Dracula to the door. And then with a great harump, they grab the flashlight. You know what? No. You're right. They didn't do an interview with you because you're not interesting. You're just an asshole. And swapped them. And he walks, walks Dracula across the face with the flashlight. I, I think as you're doing this, like you're hitting them on the head with the flashlight, but they don't even, they're not flinching. They actually just slowly start putting their glasses back on and catch your hand mid swing and just, well, I tried. And they're gonna throw you, not through the door, they're actually gonna throw you through the window from the kitchen. And you clatter onto the other side. No, you clatter, actually not like this. You go through the window, but then you get thrown into like the counter where you are now in like crash into bins of like bouncy balls and jacks and like these old things um and the rest of you after seeing uh daniel beat this animatronic to robotic death you see <laughs> a via crash through a window there I as, they're, as they're being thrown they, they just yell I found it! oh jesus <laughs> <laughs> don't worry i'm coming Wait, wait. I'll, I'll go to the kitchen. Was there I another animatronic in there? Hey. It's not Dracula. Uh, and um, is it Lies or Lies right now? It's now Lies. It's now Lies. Okay, as Lies runs into the kitchen, um, you are met with nothing. You get all the same smells and see, but... Um, you see no animatronic. You see no Dracula. You see a, a butcher knife on the ground um, and the lights flickering above you. Avila, you said Dracula was here. I see nothing. Oh, he did it again. He ran off. We're sure he's not invisible. Or is that something they can do? Throw the holy water. Throw the holy water. And then they like, Avila like grabs any heavy thing, like an old plush or something, and just hides underneath. I am hiding behind oh, like a cutting board. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay, I'll save it for now. Um I'm going to like get the get the holy waters out. And then one one bottle in on the right, one bottle on the left, and I'm going to open the caps. And then you know that thing that they do in like action movies where they have two guns like side by side, and then they just turn around. That's what's happening. They're just like. Ah! <laughs> um. Do I want you? Nah, nah. This one. okay. So as you do that. Not seeing anything, you start you start doing some like John Woo like gun food <laughs> stuff, but with holy water. 
as you go through this. And at first, you're really not met with any anything. You have this moment of you felt triumph, but around you, there seems to be nothing. But as you get through, you, you see that from... Um, like a little cupboard that you that was open as you passed by. You didn't look through it, but out falls the animatronic, the the possum animatronic, and you actually see that the holy water is actually burning on burning through the metal. But you see that for just a second as it just falls forward and clatters onto the ground. Is this what they call a cursed item? I, I heard cursed. I, I can help with curse. Dracula, come out and play! I'm going to look around to see if there's any other doors or anything to go out of. Wait, we're back in the... No, we're back in the kitchen. This is the kitchen, yeah, as it just ran through, yeah. Are there any other doors that lead away from where we have been, or is it just the kitchen? Um, there's the kitchen. There is a door that leads out, but you know that, like, you could see through, like, the window and the door that leads to the other side of, like, the arcade area. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want, you could, like, I, I know y'all wanted to check that ball pit, but you could oh, also check yeah, other stuff, sure. but. Yeah, but, okay. It, yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to do in the kitchen before? No. No. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. I'll pick up the butcher knife. Yeah, I'll pick up the butcher knife. I need a weapon. Okay. Myself. okay. Yeah, I want a weapon. Is this the knife okay. that Dracula had? It was, the, it was the butcher knife that Dracula was holding. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, as you all exit, leaving the quickly corroding body of that possum in the kitchen. Uh, if you want to wade through the ball pit, you actually see like in the center, there is, it looks like a trap door. It's really strange that the, the trap door seems to have been there a really long time. Okay, who's going this first? <laughs> yes. Okay. I have learned. I shall lift, brother. D brother. Anyway, so, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do I do do I roll? No, I can say you can just open this. So you you go through, and it is an old, old door. And you open it, it it is heavier than you'd expect to be, especially for being in a ball pit. But you're able to lift it up. um, And the the, the balls in the ball pit start, like, flowing in um, what seems to be a ladder. And as the balls fall, it does take maybe 10 seconds for you to hear the soft plopping and clacking of the balls in the ground as you look down, which seems to be a ladder that goes into a deep tunnel. I'll go if you go. Come on, let's go. We're wasting time. Yeah, I grab my flashlight. Oh, wait, I like book too. Let's do it. <laughs> Danny, just gonna just slide down. Mm-hmm. Jesse, mm-hmm. yes. Would you allow me to rip the sleeves off my shirt, <laughs> and then I'm going to wet them with the holy water, so I can easily slide, like hold the each sleeve with the wet cloth. I mean, anyway, yes. And then I slide down the ladder instead of like going. <laughs> I'm gonna go before you go. <laughs> I, I lie. Actually, I don't. Uh, I'm gonna go before. Wait, wait, wait! Don't, don't touch the ladder yet. Wait. Okay. Uh, 
wait about 10 seconds and then you can come down. Yeah, I, I think that as everyone starts going in, everyone one by one starts seeing uh, uh, lives, starts ripping their sleeves off, uncorking the holy water, maybe uncorking with their mouth and just like start pouring it on the sleeves. And yeah, of course, I, I'll let you do that. That's thematic as fuck. Um, <laughs> But yeah, um, who who was the first one down? Actually, would have been Daniel. Daniel. The first Daniel? one down, yeah. Okay, Daniel. As you get down to this tunnel, um, you reach into the ladder and you look back and forth, and you seem to be just in a hallway, just bathed in red light. The only other light around you is the green from the glow sticks that you have all around you. Um, but besides these, like these little plastic things, you don't have any visual of anything around you. And one by one, Nira comes down, Navia comes down. And as you step away, you hear, you hear lies sliding down, maybe, uh, enjoying their trip down as moving faster and faster down this ladder. Um, and you land there and now it's quiet. Nothing around you, no Catherine, no animatronics, no Dracula, no smooth jazz, just uh, a tunnel that goes to your left and right, not too far, probably about 30 feet in each direction because they turn uh, both inward. Okay, so game plan. Are we going left or are we going right? Wait, so we what are we choosing? Flex. I think that's a bad idea. I have seen many horror movies. In your case, you probably have read many horror books in which a sleep yes. party gets murdered. Yes. Yes. Let's not get murdered. All right. Yes. That's a very, very good plan. Uh... Okay, uh, left. Okay, we're going left. Everybody okay with left? We okay with left? left? Let's go left. Left, left? Okay, I'm going left. Left indeed. I like, All right. I like. So as you start heading towards the tunnel, um, you get to the turn, um, again, only the sound of your footsteps and the clattering of some of these plastic balls have followed you because they fell down a lot. There was a lot of balls there. Um, and as you look down, you see the tunnel leads to a door at the end of the hallway. And there is um, a sign above it that is flashing on and off, uh, but you, like, you can't quite see what it says from here. Ominous. Well, slowly start moving forward, like millimeter by millimeter just until I can see what's on the sign. Sure, yeah, as you get closer, the, the, the door is probably another 30 feet down the hall. Um, bathe in the red light, which again, you can't quite tell where it's coming from. You can't tell if like there's lights on like the ceiling on the floor, no visible indicator. You just bathe in this red light. And as you get closer to the door, the sign above is just, it's flashing on and off, but just says employees only. Employees only. Well, I'm about to employ this ass whooping, so let's go in. You think he's broadcasting from there, possibly? Good. Then everybody can hear him getting his ass beat on air. That's not something you can go right on. Like. Well, I mean, I'm going to destroy the equipment anyway, so it doesn't matter. I just want my pants. Uh, we can all work. achieve this. As... Maybe I can pawn the equipment and buy more pants? Hmm. As you get to the door, um, you try to open it, and for the first time in this place, you have encountered a locked door. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Doesn't open, doesn't budge, and seems to be like 
it's a it's it's a metal door. You, you can't see through no windows, just a heavy lock. Guys, I got this. I'm gonna try to kick down the door. <laughs> Would you like to do this together? Yes, let's do it together. On the count of three, ready? One, prepare two, and three. Uh both of you please uh roll plus blood. Plus blood? Yes, please. So oh, if yes. I roll the two and my blood is currently at three. That is a high. success. I got oh, a success okay. as well. I got oh sorry. Blood. It's not plus blood, it's under your stat. I apologize. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah so you said you rolled a one? Yeah, so I succeeded. Oh nice. So you both success. So both of you move one from blood to tears. And you you both um Settle up side by side, and you both count to three, and you go one, two, three, and both of you kick, and you're able to kick exactly where the lock meets the door, and you hear um, kind of like, not even like a splintering, you hear a creaking sound, and the first kick, it doesn't go through, but you're both filled with confidence, and you do it again. And then you like you feel metal bend under both of your kicks, and the door flies open, and you are looking at a room filled with monitors and computers and stuff like that. But nothing, no one in there. We like start the spraying again with holy water. <laughs> I'll give a warning. I mean, I like hides behind like ducks under uh, by the door so they don't oh, get any yeah. holy water. Are you like allergic or something to water? Like you guys keep saying, like, is it not you really a thing? Are you kind of I like you know? Don't want to get hydrophobic. Wet. Oh, okay, you know that's fine. Yeah, I understand. You're wearing sun. This is my last pair of good pants. Okay. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. We don't want to ruin the pants now. So, Lee, uh, Lies is running through again, same kind of like holy water action. Mm-hmm. Are we okay. able to see if there's anything on the monitors first before they start wilding? Well, as I think as this happens, I think that y'all start walking in behind as Lies runs ahead. Holy water is flashing everywhere. It's getting on these screens and the computers, but it doesn't seem to be affecting it as much. You know, newer tech um, doesn't mm-hmm. like you know affect that much but that's that's something you do notice a lot of the stuff in this place seems very new um and as you kind of walk in here and start actually looking at the monitors lies once you get to the end of the hall and notice nothing is melting no one is screaming um you are look around you see video of the restaurant you see video of the outside and one screen, you see video of the last bite, the club where y'all met in the beginning. And right now, it just seems to be video monitoring over everything. I'm not understanding. Where, where are you? Come out right now. I have a stick with your name on it. Um, I think I would like to go towards the monitors. And um, they're going to look for their library to see if their library is also monitored. You start looking through, and um, there, there's a wall of screens. And one of them, you you see the six monitors, all the restaurant. You see the last bite. You see monitoring of a Ross. You keep going. And then on one of them, you see a very familiar sight of your library. Avia like slams the counter and like very dramatically goes, 
the world seems full of good men, even if there are monsters in it. <laughs> Bastard! Maybe he's like the Matrix, and like this is like like he's gonna come in a white Versace suit and be like, "I invented this." And that, okay, that, that, we don't have time for your. We don't have time for your references anymore. Where is he? I don't where understand. Where are he's you? Been watching us. Tell us, Matrix. Have we succeeded? Are we the ones? And as you are kind of all yelling over each other and looking over the screens, you hear footsteps from the door, and. You turn around, probably ready to fight. Everyone has their, their chosen weapons lifted. And then you see Catherine walking through this door. Um, and they're just smiling at you and just, y'all are sure um, very entertaining to watch, aren't you? My God, she's one of the agents. You were in on this. Catherine does like the things like like wait, wait, wait. Just just like okay, look. I may have struck a deal with this person, Dracula. I mean, it can't be the real Dracula, can it? I mean, come on. But but um they promise to like help you help well help me help you. They they told me that y'all were all down on your luck in one way or another. And they thought, what if we did this? And we came together, took months of planning. Um, as you can see, there's cameras all over the place. You weren't supposed to be down here, by the way. Um, but you know. If y'all would like to sign these documents, it could be on the next hidden camera TV show. <gasps> oh my god! Oh this is, my this is Mitzi. So this is not this is not lies right now. This is just <laughs> Mitzi just <laughs> right. <laughs> Daniel's just like, hi ma, hi dad, hi everybody, hey grandmama, how you doing? I'm on TV. Hey, don't mind the blood. I'm just like trying to cover my face at this point. Like, I've been talking. Oh, about oh don't don't thing. worry, don't worry. It hasn't aired yet. It's all recorded. Be sure, to f- be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram. You know, I got a SoundCloud. You know, everything. Oh you know, God. make sure to follow it. I don't care about any of this. Where are my clothes? Where's my book? I just, I, the, I mean, okay, quick. Quick check, like, y'all know Dracula isn't real, right? 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 That can't be you Dracula. Keep, That's just like a pen name, right? You keep telling That's yourself. Dracula. I've known him for 80 years. Oh, my. You. I think she's got that wrong. That's not possible. <laughs> I think she means eight. I think she had an extra zero uh, onto that. I don't think that's right. <laughs> my, my God. Are you you sure? You, you don't look... A, Above twenty-seven. Um, eight years. A, okay. 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 Yeah. A, I just, I just elongated a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm just really distraught right now. It took me forever to build my wardrobe, and now it's gone, and I need it back. Some of that stuff isn't even in season anymore. Could, could someone someone just roll me a flat d6? Sure. Who hasn't? Don't trust me. I, nope. I won't, <laughs> do I won't do it. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Make Thank us proud. You. Make us proud. Four. Four. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> as... As all this is happening, as Catherine's telling you this, like, and they're saying, you know, it hasn't aired yet. We wouldn't do it without signing for you, but we have been recording you for a little bit. Um, just know it's part of the whole thing. It's called like um, a drought of Dracula. You know, it's a whole thing where people think they're finding Dracula, but it's all special effects and stuff. Uh, but you're looking at the monitors again, and you find one of this room. And as you're looking into the camera above your room, 
Um, you notice that there are only three people in this room. On the camera, at least. Right, right. It, right. Can right, we tell right, right. who, like, which ones? Who do we Oh, yeah. See? I mean, they're, they're recognizable. You see Catherine talking to you from the front of the door. You see Daniel definitely, like, in agreement. And then you see yourself looking at these monitors. I'm going to step outside the room. Away from the cameras, if possible. Avia immediately starts making towards Nira. No, you don't. I, what are you? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm. I'm just me. I don't. I don't know. What, I don't know what you're talking about. Um. I'm and gonna it, turn for Catherine. Hmm? Can I get my clothes and or not? What? But it, but, but, it dawns on Avia, and they turn immediately. Talia's. Is... <gasps> they grab their book and they throw it on the ground. Dracula's real. I knew it. I hold the thought. Then Leah's turns to Catherine. You. My small salary <laughs> reduced because you're a dick. I will kick your ass. And at this point, like, this is where, like, um, what do you call this? This is where Lai's jaw kind of unhinges. And then they stalk towards Catherine. And you can just hear this. For the lack of a better term, this disgusting slurpy sounds. And for everyone who can see, their mouth is basically a sarlacc pit from Star Wars. But instead of teeth, it's a bunch of those loopy straws. Some of them are bendy straws. So they're just like. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. And then. Oh, my God. <laughs> you. Catherine looks at you immediately all color changed in their face and they're like what the fuck is that and they just run they're running out the door <laughs> um Avia would like to trace after them where's Dracula <laughs> I go I gotta solve this remember Instagram Twitter you can find me there SoundCloud I gotta fix this see you later America It's, it's, oh my uh, god! Lies. And then, oh my god! <laughs> yes, and and uh, for and everyone to see, see uh, their mouth said, is basically a sarla. Quick question: This, uh -huh. for is the lack Catherine of a better white? term, this disgusting slurpy sounds. <laughs> they they Catherine, you in to the and you can just hear this. Decision. Of course. For the lack of a better term, this disgusting <laughs> slurpy sounds. And you can just the hear this. For the lack of a In better term, case, this disgusting slurpy um, sounds. As, and for everyone who can see, lies is their chasing, mouth is basically a sarlacc uh, pit from Catherine. Star Wars. At some but point, instead of teeth, run, it's a bunch of those run, loopy straws. This, some of them are bendy and straws. And you can only see wings. So they're just flapping. like... <laughs> and then, oh, dear Lord. You know, we have veils. <laughs> oh, so I'm just going to say. Then, uh, oh they leave their lower you, half behind. And it's Catherine just their upper half chasing. Immediately all uh, color changes in their face. And Catherine. And then, and as you can just hear and this, chasing Catherine, they're just like, for the lack of a verse, but instead of you teeth, are it's a bunch Lord. of those loopy yeah, straws. Where Some the of them are bendy straws. That's why you are pale. So they're just like, <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Catherine, <laughs> and you can Why just you hear go, this. Go, 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 go. For the lack <laughs> Exactly. You Catherine, and you can just <laughs> Oh dear Lord. <laughs> oh my god. You and then oh start chasing. And you Catherine, 
and you can just hear uh, this. Oh, for the lack of a better term, this disgusting. Oh, the alarm! Uh, yeah, the <laughs> oh my god! And then Catherine, and you can just hear this. For the lack of a better term. <laughs> oh, the alarm! The contestant. <laughs> oh my god! Catherine, <laughs> and you can just hear this. So Catherine. And you can just hear okay. this. Uh, it's it's just delayed. For the lack of a better uh -huh. term, this disgusting oh, okay. slurp. Oh, uh, John, can you quickly uh, turn off the the audio real quick? Apparently, my voice is looping, and that's kind of disconcerting for me. <laughs> okay. Oh, is it is it going through now? People in the chat, let us know. Okay, uh, it's okay now. It's going, it's good? Nice. It's good? Nice. Yep, 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 okay. it's okay now. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Um, thank you, John. Thank you. Uh, okay. In media res, y'all are chasing you. You are yelling this down this hallway, and Catherine is now running. They ran past the ladder and are heading towards you into the other hallway, just screaming bloody murder, just like... You know, I was just in this for the money. There's no way Jack was real. Why are you real? Why are you? Oh no. And just running towards the other door. And you're you are just on their tail, these um lies. Lies? Probably lies right now, lies. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> lies. Definitely. Lies. <laughs> and also they're the the last thing you probably hear, if ever. Is just with Catherine screaming bloody, like whatever, <laughs> uh, um, asking what lies is. And lies is just, I am from the Philippines. And then just goes, bah, 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 bah. Beautiful. <laughs> and you, like now Catherine is just screaming as they run through the other door and they open that door at the other end of the hallway. This one not closed as you chase through down. And this room is um, much bigger than the last, but it's still it's still like a room. Um, and as they're running through, they hide behind like a bookshelf. And this room seems to be almost like a hoarder's room. There is stuff everywhere, unnamed books, just there somewhere in here you see a weirdly large pile of pants and sitting in a desk chair in the back just like calmly looking through as Catherine hides behind the door or a shelf you see Dian Dracula just staring you down and looking at you lies just just amused at this point So, you do have more tricks up your sleeves. How exciting. Lies. Now, see if you allow, if you'll, if you will allow this, only if you will. Uh -huh. Can lies um, kind of, would you allow that lies was carrying the wet sleeves that was ripped off? I, I would still see they're probably on their hands, yeah. They're just gonna ball it out of him and chuck it at his face. Uh I would need you to roll for that. Uh I could say you could you choose whatever you feel appropriate because I could see options for both blood or tears. I'm gonna roll for tears because it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah, go for it, go for it. Water is wet. <laughs> it's a four. I have four tears right now. Okay, okay. With that, that introduces a complication. Mm -hmm. Um, so you let's say this, you throw one. The first one hits Dracula because they're like they're throwing rags at me. Okay. But then as soon as it hits them, he starts just like patting it off, patting it down as you see smoke coming up from his arm. It's just like wipes it away. You throw the other one, he swats it away, and just he is going to 
stand up, grab you. While you're in midair flying towards him, you're going to grab your neck and throw you down and slam you into the ground and just look at you, still holding you down, just... My dear friend, you're going to have to do better than that. Holy water, that's the best you got. Uh, uh, and we should- at that place, it's just like... <laughs> and then just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, think, I think everyone starts coming in and you see Dracula holding lies down as their tongues are coming out of their mouth. Dracula is just like, I don't like this. <laughs> gross, gross. <laughs> what did the rest of y'all um, do? Abiel launches themselves right at Dracula with the book in hand. How dare you! <laughs> I, I definitely need you to roll for that. Yeah. I'm coming from the side, just like, what's up, buddy? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but am I, it'll be blood? Uh, if you're doing that, if you have uh, arguments for tears, but I think blood is most appropriate. I think it's going to be blood. Okay. I got a two and my blood is four. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, so as you get through, and what is this book that you're hitting them with? Um, it will actually, it's going to be, I think it would be Bram Stoker's Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you start hitting them, you, okay, uh, Mitzi, if you're okay with this, I think you come mm. up and you just start hitting them and you just start bashing over the head. At first, it doesn't seem to be affecting them as much, but then they see what you're hitting, it's like, how dare you just like, come on, that's not, that's actually one of the fake ones. And I think this would be enough for um, lies to actually maybe get one of their tongues around them. And now yeah, Dracula is kind of like stuck being grappled with uh, Liza's purpose guy. Um, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, and then let's go to Daniel as you come up seeing all this Dracula is now kind of like like lassoed what do you want to do again uh, I wanted to like distract him so that they can get their shots in yeah yeah so if you want if you want to go up um I could again I could see uh blood or tears if you want to whack them that may be a good roll for blood okay, use tears yeah success I got one Cool, cool, cool. Okay, what do you want to do? Uh, I just gotta just distract them by just hitting them, hitting him wherever that they're not. So like when he gets a sh- when he manages to like break out, just hit him upside the head, just with the uh, foosball stick that I still have. I I think like after this, like like um, like Dian gets distracted at Avia's like. How dare you? Then it's like I don't make the tongue around the throat, and then you're just like kind of like whacking them, just like this is unnecessary, <laughs> and they're definitely like very much not paying attention to anything else going on. Uh, Nira, did you want to do anything? Well, I do have a knife. <laughs> <laughs> You have a knife, that's correct. I do have a knife. Um, I was going to throw it, but I don't want to chance that. So I think I, I go to throw it and Avia like runs up. And so instead I like charge after them and then like start squeamish, squeamishly like poking Dracula with it. Like not even like super duper forceful but it's like like i'm super duper squeamish about it uh-huh, uh-huh. Start, like poking uh-huh. him with a knife yeah definitely um i could see you could probably roll either blood or tears like blood if you just want to like like you know hack away at him tears if you want to do even more distractions or I'm vampire just magic I'm just, I'm just hacking away because i'm mad <laughs> i don't even <laughs> notice my pile of hands yet but i rolled a three and my blood is at four right now, so so that is a success. This should be a success. So, yeah. So you're 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 going through. You're kind of squeamish about it, but you're definitely just like, um, 
just there's uh i'm gonna throw this out there quick content warning for blood for like a little bit um but you're going through and you're just stabbing and you're actually able to get into dracula and at first like you're stabbing around the chest nothing is happening because you know there's usually there's no blood and some kind of like dracula no vampire but you actually get them like right in the throat um like right like between liza's tongues and then like they must have eaten rather recently just because like blood starts coming from their neck but then they're just looking at me just like i'm gonna have to eat again sooner now <laughs> fuck out all this stuff <laughs> um you're just going to have to do this and i'm going to have uh this quick mechanic that i added where everyone has maybe a bit of overconfident overconfidence because the plan is going really well you all succeeded so everyone go ahead and add one into your blood stat like move one to your blood and dracula is going to just they're going to grab the knife from your hand as you like move to stab them. They're going to, uh, with the other hand, grab the foosball stick and just, they stand up, Lisa's tongue still attached to them. Um, and they're going to throw everyone away. They're gonna whip the knife away, whip Nira across the room. They're going to grab Daniel and throw them into a via as they go into the wall. And then they're going to grab down at you, Lies, and just like take one of your tongues off their throat and just. Y'all are so annoying. Why can't you just. Do you want your shit back? You're in this room. Get it. Just leave me the fuck alone. And they're going to throw you, uh, like, they're going to throw you into a pile of pants. No! <laughs> I'll realize it's in my pants! And I'll, like, oh. run over. That yeah. is an extreme amount of pants. Like, wow. That is... I knew you said it was a lot, but like I didn't know you meant like a lot. Like that's that is a lot. I'm just like hugging my pants at this point. Uh. Like, start, like, start like slowly like piling them up on my arm, like laying them across my arm, and I start like starting trying to tug some from up under. <laughs> Holy, like ugh. okay. Um, Avina looks around. Is there an actual copy? Uh, like is the it's his original transcript copy of Interview with a Vampire anywhere in the room. You yeah, actually look directly to your left into the bookshelf you were thrown into. Yeah, there's that. You also see, like, for some reason, right next to it, you see probably the oldest version of the Holy Bible you've ever seen in your life. Fine. I'll leave you alone. But I'm taking this with me, asshole. <laughs> he grabs both of the books and immediately starts leaving out of the door. I'm through with this shit. Got my thirty dollars. You do have my salary. They're going to look at both of you and just, you know, if you agree to the show, you would have made more money, but you know what? Whatever. And they're going to go. It's about principle, okay? Is that a, is that about the money, okay? You know, I could make that money later on. Man. No, you said you were going to pay back the ticket. I said, okay, fine, no. You gotta. You said you're going to pay back me $30 exactly. Three zero. I want $30 in my hands right now. In the pot right now. Right as you finish that sentence, um, you and then you know that lies you as well. You each get a golden brick thrown at you, like a like a brick of gold. It How? hurts because it's still gold. <laughs> but and think Daniel, you may even be like knocked over because it's like you know a block of twenty four karat gold. Um, just like you know, again, you would have made a lot more if you just agreed to sign up for this fucking show. But here, go. I'm done. Just. 
find other suckers. Thank you. What what we learn? What we learn? Look, you keep talking. I'm gonna make you stop talking. Just think about it. Think about what you learn. And then walk off. Lies <laughs> <laughs> is just going to stay there, like. Just glares. Mm -hmm. and just sit, just does this thing with their tongues, like, <laughs> and then flies away. And I think you see this scene as Catherine comes out as soon as Lies leaves, and they just like look at. Deanna and just like, are you, what are the fuck? And you just hear uh, lies as you are leaving around the corner, you just hear, you're fired. <laughs> as uh -uh. the door closes and you pan out, everyone uh, reunited with their lost items. And I, I just love the scene as Nira up the ladder, mind you, just mm -hmm. a pile of pants taller than they are. That's They're no vampires, though. So they yeah, no exactly. <laughs> um, as you all, maybe a little worse for wear, get back into the van and start driving back to the club. And everyone, Dracula doesn't owe you shit anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I add a quick little? That's what like, I thought. That's quick what little scene. As the van, as the van is pulling away, Liza's legs are running behind it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for playing this. That this was, was an absolute joy. Um, <laughs> for everyone yeah. watching, I believe we're only like. Thirty dollars away from our goal. Nope, we passed it. No, we, we passed, passed our goal. It. We passed Hell it. Hell yeah, yeah, let's go. Uh, All the money that Jacko <laughs> owed you is now going to the SCDAA. Right <laughs> um, we passed. Thanks. We passed the calculator speak for Good. that. If you don't know the calculator <laughs> speak, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you're too young to be friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we all head out, why don't y'all just again uh, tell you, tell us who you are, where you can find all your stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and start because I didn't tell, say at the beginning of the show, but again, I'm Dusty. I use he, they pronouns. Um, and you can find me on so many things. Uh, I am part of uh, Anima Magiri, uh, City of Mist, Turn to another unnamed PBTA podcast that we'll do for season two. Uh, you can find me a lot on Goblets and Gays. You can find me on Bring Your Own Mech, a uh, spaghetti western dancer podcast where I play just another queer disaster as I tend to. And you can find my newest project at Well Seasoned Stories, an incredibly queer all BIMPOC podcast where we explore stories from non Eurocentric points of view. Um, you can find games like Ink It, which we released yesterday on the 18th. Uh, on Friday, we, we released an episode of The Vamp is Dust, which is a game by Alyssa at a Disaster Queer. And this morning, we released a game of How You Do, Fellow Humans, which I believe was played last night as well. Um, and yep. that one was a pure joy to both edit and listen to. Um, so I highly recommend it. You can find us on Twitter at Season Stories. And you can find people like Mitzi. Mitzi was actually in two of these games on our podcast this weekend. So, and even wrote Ink It. Um, speaking of, I'll pass it on to you, Mitzi. Hi. So I am the Mitzi. Just <laughs> I am <laughs> Mitzi. Always. My pronouns are they, she. I am also known as Pookie Peko on most of the social media whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's P-U-K-E-P-E-K-U. -E -E I am a Filipino, trans, non-binary variety streamer. I play tabletop role-playing games on streams. I also do video games and other shenanigans that I can get myself into. The most recent one is apparently making haikus for this stream. Um, <laughs> what else? 
Oh yeah, I like Dusty said. I did write my first TTRPG called Inkit. It's a dreamless TTRPG about bloody hunters. So if you're interested to listening to that, Utopia did just stream it um, yesterday, I believe. Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday, and Well Season Stories also released a, a podcast episode on it. So if you want to get a feel of what the game is about. Do check them out. And uh, yeah, I am also a regular cast member, but also a budding producer of Vibrant Legends, which can be found on the Dicey Amazon Switch channel. It's usually a bi-weekly basis right now. Um, Saturdays, 4 p.m. Central. I think I got it right. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, and I'll pass it along to Chris. Uh, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Chris Cologne, and uh, you can find me on the Twitters. I am a uh, Caribbean, so again, Puerto Rican, Cuban, and Dominican, a uh, voice actor and also TTRPG player. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at vo underscore Cologne. That's C O L O N. And in terms of stuff I'm in, I am currently part of over at Gehenna again. Uh, uh, Gehenna Gaming. There we go. I am part of Gehenna Academy, where I play Isaac. Uh, it's a Monster Hearts game, so it's really really fun. It's our second season, and it's with a all POC cast, uh, which is also fantastic. So if you want to catch, we we do it Mondays at seven thirty p.m. So you can catch us there tomorrow, and also later on, hopefully probably next month, I also will be on Critical Bits for the Avatar uh, tournament that they're doing. So that's also pretty awesome. So you can find nice. them over there at Critical. Bitch cast, we're doing uh, the Legend of Core tournament style with like 48 people. So that's fun. It's going to be great. So nice. yeah, you can just there. Uh, oh, hi. Pass. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Ray. Um, pronoun she, her. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Chris Laugh. I mean, I'm sure that's somewhere on the screen because um, spelling it, it's going to be a bit of a pain with these fangs in. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, follow me on Twitter at Chris Laugh me. Um, I am here on Utopia occasionally. I am also, as uh, Mincy pointed out, uh, Vibrant Legends. I work mostly behind the scenes for Vibrant Legends, but I am occasionally on stream as well. Um, but who knows where I'll be next, honestly. So just follow me on Twitter to figure it out. And I'll figure it out with you. <laughs> so. Then. Uh, <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Revan. Uh, I am a Nikonawa non binary transgender man. My pronouns are he, they, and my main bag of tricks is that I am a freelance artist. I do TTRPG art, sci fi, fantasy, horror. Um, I'm your guy if you ever need any backgrounds or, you know, character design concepts are. I really love doing that. Um, I am also um, a budding sort of streamer and performer over on uh, my own Twitch, which is at the Mythic Bunny. You can also follow me on Twitter and on TikTok, um, maybe Tumblr if I remember to get back on there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but otherwise, follow me there, and we'll see what other shenanigans that I get up to. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. And again, everyone, thank you for playing. This was such a joy. I'm glad to see that this game is something because it's the first time this game has been play tested. So, <laughs> so fun. Uh, so fun. So f I'm, I Let's have go. a joy. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got him. We got, got him. <laughs> um, and thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for just crushing the goal, which is so awesome. Um, but uh, hang around, keep watching. Utopia is going to be doing. Uh, uh, unfiltered where we talk about the community and how we view stuff i believe i could be butchering this and i do apologize uh but yeah Perfect i think that's gonna fine. be it's just cool it's just gonna be a very chill stream decompressing after party hello mm -hmm. discombobulated voice with no <laughs> closed captions <laughs> <Is that you? laughs> yes i am catherine or dracula or whatever you want to call me um yeah just uh stick around for that uh we'll be transferring over fairly soon and uh i love y'all you beans are wonderful people <laughs> yes and bye Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>